This week's video, we look at concerns that have been raised about Google introducing new top level domains. The .zip and .mov domains have been introduced and it has a huge potential impact leaving people and companies vulnerable to scams and ransomware. And it's also undoing years of anti-phishing and deception uh, awareness training. So straight off the bat, uh, if you're an IT manager, my advice would be to block these top level domains as a precaution as things could get seriously messy. But before we do, uh, get into all of that and talk a bit more about the story itself. Uh, we want to help you and your businesses and other businesses around the world to stay safe in this ever evolving digital landscape. So please like and share the video as it helps to broaden the reach and get the word out around better security best practices. And we want to make sure that people like yourselves and other businesses are aware of the risks uh, these .zip and .mov domains may pose. So critics, me included, are arguing that these new domains could potentially become a haven for scammers and cyber criminals as they pose a significant threat to online security. At the beginning of May, Google released eight new top level domains, uh, TLDs. Uh, these are the suffixes at the end of the URLs like .com or .uk. And these little addendums uh, were developed decades ago to help expand and organize URLs. And over the years, the nonprofit uh, Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, ICANN, has loosened restrictions on TLDs so that organizations like Google can bid to sell access to more of them. But while Google's annou announcements included lighthearted offerings like .dad and .nexus, it also debuted a pair of TLDs that are uniquely poised uh, to invite phishing and other types of online scamming, um, the .mov and the .zip domains. These two stand out because they are also common file extension names. Uh, the former .zip is ubiquitous with for data compression, so if you're compressing up a number of files, you'd normally use a .zip file extension, uh, while .mov is, is of course well known as a video format developed by Apple. Now, um, several new uh, created sites demonstrate that there's a, a sleight of hand going on here with websites like uh, setup.zip and clients.zip already being registered and they are automatically essentially downloading malicious scripts uh, which highlights the issue is already out there and being used and demonstrated. Scammers could leverage uh, this similarly to deceive unsuspecting users into clicking on a malicious link or even opening uninfected attachments putting their personal data and also financial information at risk. So, what can you do to protect yourself and your organizations? Uh, here are a few best practices uh, to keep in mind uh, in order to protect yourselves. So, number one, think twice when opening email attachments or clicking on links, especially if they come uh, from unfamiliar or suspicious sources. Two, be skeptical of unsolicited emails that ask for personal information or sensitive information. Uh, legitimate organizations don't typically ask for that sort of stuff over email anyway. And number three, stay up to date with the latest uh, security patches and updates because a lot of the malware that's being delivered through this method are gonna try and exploit your operating systems, your web browsers, and your security software. So keep those up to date. Number four, consider using mail filtering products because they can help you to block the domains upstream. And also things like antivirus software can help to detect and block those potential threats. And last but not least, educate yourself and your employees about the common phishing techniques and how this new threat could uh, be identified and help to protect them. That's all we've got for this week. And so remember to stay vigilant, protect your digital assets. And if you need help with any issues uh, we've raised here or in any of our other videos, be sure to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. And thanks very much for watching and stay safe.